What's up, YouTube? Check it out. All right, I picked up a bunch of new Nipex pliers, and I'm pretty pleased with what I picked up, and I'm going to show them to you right now, so check them out. Well, 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 here we go. All right. First off, I want to thank my viewers, and especially the new women viewers that have been watching and commenting lately. Really appreciate that crowd. Uh, it's always good to have the ladies be commenting and hitting that thumbs up, so... Appreciate y'all, guys and girls. So we're going to get into it here. I'm going to get it out of the way. Right here, the new style pliers wrench. We all love it. Part number right here, 8601180. Uh, the length on it is 180 millimeters. And it's about 7 inches long. This thing's a beast. Let's see. It does have the sizing engraved to it on it so there's your inches and do they have it yeah it's, there's a metric on it right there see it noise so let's zoom back in and next up these pliers right here these are an eBay score. These are new old stock Nipex. I have picked up a couple of few pairs of these off of eBay lately. And there's a seller that's selling them. I will post his name right up in here and also put a, a link to his page in the description. And he's got some really good prices. You could send him an offer even on some of the products and He'll accept a pretty good price, usually about anywhere between 10 and 5 bucks off a pair of pliers. So, some really good prices. I probably paid 20 bucks or so for these. And this piece right here, so when you make a cut on like a zip tie or, or a wire, it holds onto the wire for you. So, that's what that does. Part number on this bad boy set. Shoot, I can't get you a part number right now, but I will put the part number in for you guys. There's another one where I don't have the part number offhand right now, and I'll put it in there for you guys so you guys can see it right now. And these are end cutters. Don't have a lot of end cutters. And something you will notice about this uh, tool haul or Nipex haul is they're all kind of small precision-y pliers. So uh, I didn't have really, I, I did have some, but I didn't have a really good array of precision mechanic style or electronic style pliers. And when I say a, a mechanic pliers, you mean like electronic, electrical stuff, and also uh, doing cell phone repairs or little computer or laptop repairs, just little odds and ends, you know? Something where you don't need too intricate of pliers. But these Nipex should will fit my Next up, going to be the good old flush cutters. Come in a nice vinyl pouch. Part number 9K008090 US. In Germany, flush cut pliers, set in pouch. An individual part number on this set, if you want to buy it individually, is 72-01-140. And see how it has that nice smooth grind there? That's how you get that really nice smooth cut. And they have a little spring action. Makes it nice. But they don't have, it doesn't have the gripper. See how this has that... That will grab grab it. I don't think this is a completely there, but it, it's like a semi flush cutter where this is entirely a flush cutter. So something to look out for you guys right here: the Nipex seventy two zero one one eighty. Real nice. Gotta love Nipex. Nipex is such a primo brand of pliers. And I have owned Nipex for about three years now. And I love my Nipex. 
I will never get rid of a pair of Nipex unless I gift them to somebody. Awesome pair right here. Sorry I'm not demonstrating them in this video. I will... Maybe I'll make another video in the future demonstrating cutting them. All the different types that I have here. So stay tuned for that, you guys. So next up, I'm going to keep this one out. And is it going to be this one? No. Yes, it'll be this set here. The 701-160. Kind of familiar. It's not ground down completely smooth. It has a bevel there. So this is just a regular high leverage cutting dike. Not the curved. It's just a straight six inch pair. Nice. You know, just just your average cutting pair. And these are super strong. So don't doubt these just because they are not angled or the high leverage style. Hey, don't doubt it at all. Because they're all good. Speaking of high leverage pliers. Here's a high leverage design right here. See how it overlaps right there? These just, brr, these are little beasts. This is a part number 7401140. And how long are these little guys? They're just, a t they're about five and a half inches long. So I was looking for pliers that are between about four and a half and six inches long for this kind of like precision set that I'm going to declare it as. More like a, as I said, a mechanics precision plier set. And something to point out, I'm just going to show you guys this one, how so familiar they look. Don't get confused on the internet when you're ordering these. They look super similar very similar so don't get confused these are both closed all the way see how they have the this has that big old bevel in there yeah that will uh that's not a flush cutter that will leave like an edge on a piece of plastic or or a, a sharp end on the zip tie where this will cut it completely flush where they where it won't have any sharp jagged ends so yeah so these bad boys let's go back to these the 74 01140 they're overlap they're the high leverage version they can do some real Real good cutting. Like I have this snap-on screwdriver right here. And it's like I could do it. But it's like no. Uh, I just got it. Uh, it's definitely tempting though. Having pliers like these just make you want to cut everything up. So anyways, moving on. Moving on. Alright, let's just show you a basic pair of flat nose neo nose pliers. Part number 2301140. Flat nose pliers with cutter. Just a classic, ugh, classic pair. And these are definitely a flat nose. See that? Almost like a duck bill. And they got the cutter in them. So these are just a flat nose needle nose plier with a cutter built into them. And also, whoops, it has serrated teeth so you can get them nice grip and action on whatever you're trying to hold on to or pull that's what the teeth are for they're for pulling you can really get some good grip pulling with those teeth look at that that's such a bird right there yeah, that is definitely a duck right there <laughs> all right no laser etching or marking or anything on there. So once this wear, wears off here, you won't know what they are. You know? That's kind of a bummer. But whatevers. So what do we got here? What do we got here? 
We got something neat for you guys here. We'll show you guys these one zero three zero one one forties. Those are cool little guys here. Some little combination pliers. These would be like a good everyday carry plier. Just put them in your pocket. Go to work, go to town, go to not Walmart, but go to a department store of choice. Definitely a fine piece of work. Excellent tool. Can't wait to use it. Excellent for grabbing on the nuts and bolts. Then also doing your pulling and such with the serrated teeth. Then you could do your cutting. I'm sure it could cut a pretty thick wire. No problem whatsoever, being it's a Nipex. So, you yeah, guys, uh, let's move on to the next one. Right here, 32, 21, 160. This one's super sweet, you guys. I really like this one. You will see this one on kctoolco.com in a gunsmithing set for like 140 or something like that. Part number 31, 21, 160. Again. Super nice pair. It's got that curve right there. What is it? Is that a 30 degree angle or what? 45 degree. Pretty nice. There she be. And they... Are these smooth teeth? Yes, it has smooth teeth. Or not smooth teeth, but no teeth. It's just a smooth, smooth nose bill plier. Definitely a nice pair of pliers. Not for a marring something up. Definitely for a picking something up that you drop down in there. You know? Definitely good for picking something up that you dropped into a spot. Here it is. 31, 11, 160. All right, here we go. Super sweet pair of pliers. We've seen this one on Flat Rate Master Show. That's where we've seen this one. He had this one. I was like, ooh, that's a nice pair of pliers. And then I started really looking into these. And then I ended up with this big pile of Nipex pliers. <laughs> So, that's what happens when you watch our videos. Super nice pair of pliers. And another thing, these are the smooth. Great for picking up things that you lost. And it's this pair, this pair, and two other pairs that make it the gunsmithing set. So... For inquiring minds, go check that out on KC Tool. But yeah. Uh, another thing about these other pliers is their uh, handles are a little thickened up compared to other models. So it's kind of nice because you're going to be doing some precision work so it, it really fits your hand well. Like, here's a simpler design here. Or with the, we'll go to a smaller model. Like this one. It doesn't have the blown up, like extra rounded hand, or yeah, extra rounded handles for you. So, excellent pair of pliers. All right. Uh, last but not least. Pretty sure it's going to be last but not least. Actually, I'm going to insert a pair of pliers that came in late right here. Boom. All right, so last but not least. Boom, right here. These are the 0821-145. And we've seen this pair of pliers on Justin Dow's channel. He showed these on Jeff's truck. Definitely a nice pair of pliers. Sweet pair of pliers. Let's see how long they are. Probably just won't be able to see it. 
You guys might. What is that? Right under six inches, about five, seven, five. Five and three quarters. Very neat pair of pliers. These are called, pretty sure these are called exactly mechanics pliers. No, they're just called needle nose combination pliers, but I've seen them called mechanics pliers, mechanic needle nose pliers. So, yeah. Uh, excellent for holding on like a rod or something. And if you need to twist it, excellent pair of pliers. Can't wait to use them. They're going to be in my arsenal for years to come. All right. You guys will be seeing these in the future. Definitely going to use them a lot. So I will catch you guys on the next video. Appreciate you all for coming by, staying for this long. So don't be afraid to love me and hit that like, subscribe, and comment. Deuces. And Nipex, if you're watching, love you guys. Deuces.